testing of a high purity germanium nuclear detector. Shown here is a SD cryostat where you have a preamplifier, NCAP housing, which has your crystal inside here. It's your vertical dipstick goes down to a 30 liter doer filled with liquid nitrogen. Now we'll be testing this with a PGT System 8000. And I'll show on the back the connections hooking up to a detector. Basically, we have input signal that hooks up to the preamp out preamp output. There's two connectors. Use either one. You have your bias cable. They go to your SHV connector. And you have your preamp power. And goes to your preamp power. Now if you have access to an oscilloscope, you can take a BNC to your oscilloscope and look at the amp out. Now you see a large noise on your oscilloscope, probably about 400 millivolts of noise. This will show that the preamp, if you tear everything inside, is working and you are ready to proceed with the applying bias to the crystal. So connecting to the PGT software, usually when you load it you'll get this icon here showing an eye for uh, hardware super search. PC, click on it. It'll give you various menus to choose from. Usually start with serial port, PGT ANS, quantum, pick out a con that's compatible with your computer. And we usually go with the higher baud rate to start at 115.2 and click update. And it shows the communication of has connected to your system 8000, gives the serial number on the verification. And then just close it. You go over to the quantum, whichever one you have, MCA Gold. Double click on the icon and it should bring up the quantum. Gives you various uh, lines there to look at stuff. But for us, we're just looking at one main line. And once we're this set up, we'll look over at the uh, let's see, set up detector parameters. You can go and set the bias for your detector. Pick out what type of uh, crystal you have, P-type, N-type. You can load all this information here. Once you have it, you can save it and apply it. And close, and you're ready to go. This button here, the spectrum info, allows you to change the menus in here. You get to the bottom where you can have the bias, amplifier, and ADC information. For our purposes, we're looking at the bias. And usually, we'll start at 500 volts and slowly increment it up from there. And now we're going to be recording the feedback voltage of the crystal checking leakage current as we bias it up. One end of the probe will go to ground, you can, any ground, ground plane. In this case, it's in between the output uh, connector between Teflon and metal case. The other part goes to a Teflon test point. And once you get it in there, you'll see the feedback voltage on the meter. Now, as we enable the bias, we have it set for 500 volts to start. As you do so, the crystal feedback voltage will usually go up to 23 volts and then usually start to come down within uh, 10 seconds
You usually give it a minute or two to sort of stabilize and set. You'll also notice when we started, the noise is about 400 millivolts. We initially biased it up. Now it comes down you know, a little lower, less than 20 millivolts of noise to the first 500 volts. Okay, so now we're going to increase the voltage to 1,000 volts. Enable. You'll see the bias swing. You'll get a measurement change in your feedback. It should settle back down to the point that we were just at earlier. You also see decrease in your noise. Okay, now we're going to apply the final bias to it. This detector runs at 3,500 volts. If you look at your oscilloscope, your noise is less than 10 millivolts, which is usually pretty good.